Okay, so this is the Pyramid Builder game. If you want to play, it's free. And this is the guide on how to do it in 22 years or less. So introduction, just a bunch of talking. And if you look at this, this is the god of chaos, god of war and disease. And this is the god of architects, which obviously you want architects for building a pyramid. And so you have to do healing for this. You can't really do any of the other stuff, even if you try. Um, so arable land, it would get flooded by the Nile, which is not really good. And mountains, it wouldn't have any flat landscapes. And uh, the desert would be too far away. And the plateau is good because it won't get flooded by the Nile and it's not too far away. So let's select that. Um, so for the angle, 39 is way too low and 60 is a little bit high. So I would say 52. And. Uh, that. Building materials. The granite is really heavy and hard to shape, even though it offers protection. Mud brick doesn't last long, but it's easy to make and transport. But you can break through it really easily. So limestone. Easy to shape, but easy to transport too. So you could orient using the stars, but that doesn't really do anything, it's just an educational thing. So I'm gonna skip it. Then the ceremony. And if you remember, this is the god of chaos, this is the god of war and disease, and this is the god of architects. So you want that for your pyramid, unless you want a pyramid commanded by a god of war and disease. <laughs> Next. Um, craftsmen make up about less than a fourth of farmers or uh, craftsmen population is one fourth of the farmer population in the workforce if you look at here so your numbers should be about 20% craftsmen, 70% farmers, 10% officials, because slaves are really expensive and like hard to monitor. So you don't really want chocolate or camel meat because it'll spoil, and even though it's tasty, it probably won't be good. So potatoes, fish, and bread. And next, you probably don't want to feed them once a day because they will starve. So three times a day especially if you're working. And so if you look at the advice, coal is eye makeup, and they use that to protect against sun disease and deflect the glare from the sun. So it's pretty much like sunscreen for your eyes. And board games were really popular, so select board games. And they had wooden headrests, so it would be probably be good to give them pillows so that they could sleep easier and get more like, work out of them. Um, and now, to give your workers a day off, every four days would be way too often, because there would just be a lot of days of not working, and it would take, like, 28 years or more. So, I would say every 15 days. And, in the advice thing, apparently workers are divided into gangs of a thousand men, so you want to compete in gangs. But they really like time off, so time off. And beer is the most important drink. I can't blame them. So, <laughs> extra beer for that one. So, next is the Nile Expedition. Begin. All that. Play the game. I can normally do it in like 23 days, somewhere around there. I've done it the fastest in like 21, almost 20 days. Avoid the hippo, run through the rapids, don't die, the usual. Um, even if you crash a couple times, you'll still be doing good. I mean, I've only had my boat been destroyed once, and I've played this a few times. So, 
Um, you can take this shortcut, which is very useful. It's better than going the long way around. And you don't want to go to the left right there, because that'll take you off to a dead end. So you just keep on going until you see the village, go to the harbor. So yeah, 21 days, almost 20 if you were watching the timer. Um, ever see the building of the pyramid? This is just a bunch of information. It, is, it isn't like any interactive work. Like straight on ramp, too many resources. Spiral ramp, still too many resources, and it took a long time to get up to the top. And so the multiple ramp is probably the best because it's a combination and it doesn't use too many resources. Next, hauling blocks, building the pyramid. There we go. Your workers will be happy for 30 years, your food will last for 56 years, however the heck that works. I don't know how that works. So, estimate it takes you 21 years and 21 days to make the pyramid. Ooh, yeah. So, you shouldn't run out, even if there's a swarm of locusts. You still can survive. So there you go, the pyramid, and limestone, and gold at the top. So, if you want to try this out, or if you're right now pausing and playing again, then you're welcome for the video. Yep, bye.